Welcome back everyone to Catherine's Plates. It's dinner time and I am ready to bring a one pot meal again. Now this is a whole different flavor profile. So what I'm going to do to get started is I'm going to turn on our burner to a medium high heat. Now in my pot, I've got one tablespoon of butter and I'm going to add one tablespoon of some cooking oil. We're going to start getting that to a sizzle and I'm going to start cooking up some onion here. Now I love one pot meals because there's so many variations that you can make with this. And we're going to start off with an onion here. it's going to go well with the flavor profile that we're going to be making. This is a fast put together meal. So everything is going to cook all in one pot here, even the pasta. Once I get these onions all chopped up, we're going to add it to our butter and oil here and start softening these up. All right, I'm going to go ahead and add this. Okay, it'll take about two to three minutes just to lightly brown and soften up our onions. Okay, so the onions are nice and softened now and got a little brown to them. What I'm going to do is add my sausage. Now this is an Italian ground sausage and it's a mild version. So I'm going to add that. It's about 16 ounces. And what's great about this dish is if, if you want to use like ground, ground beef, you can do that also. Pull that off of there. All right, I'm just going to use my meat chopper here. I'm going to break up the sausage. So I'm going to cook this till it is no longer pink. Okay, my sausage is nice and browned. What I'm going to do now is add my minced garlic, about two teaspoons. I'm going to mix this up and then we're going to allow it to cook for about one minute. Now the sausage is pretty seasoned already. So if you're using ground beef, you'd want to go ahead and season that. And you can, you know, season it with some pepper, Italian seasoning, some onion powder if you want, anything like that. But the sausage already has that flavor in there, the Italian flavors in there, so we're going to stick with this right now. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and start making the broth for this. Now, if you want to just use four cups of chicken stock or chicken broth from the box, that's totally fine. I'm using this Better Than Bouillon, and I'm going to be using one teaspoon per cup of water. So I've got four cups of water here. Better Than Bouillon has like a roasted flavor to it for the chicken. It's so good. All you do is whisk up one teaspoon per one cup of hot water. And then what I'm going to do is add this to my sausage here, which we're going to talk about right now. Now, it, this does not need to be drained. Now, if you're using a meat and it's got excess fat and grease in it, you can drain that if you want. As you can see, my sausage pretty much absorbed anything that was in there. That tablespoon of butter and then that oil. And I was using an avocado oil, which has a nice flavor. You know, it's, health, it's a healthy oil, too. All right, so what we're going to do is add our broth here. Give it a nice stir. Make sure you get all that goodness out of there. That's your flavor. Okay, we're going to bring our heat to a high heat. Let's go up there. there we go. Okay, along the way, make sure you give it a taste while it's coming to a boil because this is where you want to make sure that you've seasoned it the way you want it, okay? Because this is what's going to flavor our pasta. So I'm just going to give it a little taste here. Mmm, that is delicious. I'm telling you, if you use that Italian sausage, it has all the flavors in it that you need. It's really delicious. And again, like if you're using a ground beef for this recipe, then I would definitely add some salt, some pepper, 
and some Italian seasoning. Now we had already put some onions in here and that fresh minced garlic, so we don't need to add any more of that, unless you feel you wanna add additional seasonings to it. Okay, as you see, we've got a boil going on here. What we're gonna do is add about 12 ounces of some penne pasta. You can use any kind of pasta that you want. Now this is uncooked, because it is gonna cook in the broth here. Let me get the box open here. <laughs> all right, now this is a 16 ounce box, but I'm not gonna put that all in here. About that much right there, about 12 ounces. Okay, I've just given this a quick stir. What we're gonna do is let this simmer on the low heat for about 12 minutes to 15 minutes. You wanna fully cook the pasta. Now you wanna take your lid off every so often, maybe every three or four minutes, and just kinda of scrape the bottoms, give it a stir, and make sure that nothing's sticking on the bottom there. Check your liquid level. If you feel like you need to add more liquid, then you can at that time, okay? Now what we're gonna do is talk about the vegetables. This is where you can just, you know, go wild with your imagination if you want. I'm using a broccoli head here, and I'm just gonna cut these into small pieces because they're not gonna cook very long in here, only about three or four minutes. We've still got a creamy, cheesy base to kind of fill in to our pot here with the vegetables, so it's a full, complete meal, all right? So just bite-sized pieces for your broccoli here. Now, you can use squash, zucchini, you can put some cauliflower in there, some bell peppers if you want, whatever you like to cook down into your pasta sausage and that. We don't want to add it in right now because if we added it in right now it'd get really mushy. Mm -hmm. Does somebody still? Wow y'all! <laughs> you ever seen him pick up broccoli? <laughs> he eats broccoli but um, Thomas loves his desserts and he's always in here for desserts isn't he? <laughs> and your point. I'm throwing him under the bus. I like veggies too. He does. He likes his veggies. I have a well-rounded meal. <laughs> Ending with dessert. And beginning with dessert. <laughs> we got about two minutes left before the pasta is done. It's looking really good in here. What I'm going to do is add my cut broccoli right now. That way you can finish when the pasta is finished. All right, I'm going to give this a stir now and make sure the broccoli is all covered up in the remaining liquid here. See, that broccoli just really looks good in there. You know, you can even put spinach in here. I was just thinking that would be a good thing to put in here, spinach. spinach oh, yeah. Would be good yeah, it would be a really good vegetable to put in here. So, All right, what I'm going to do now is put the lid back on for about two minutes. All right, we still have to make this creamy and cheesy yet so hold on just a minute and then I'm going to show you how we're going to finish this off. Oh my goodness that broccoli looks so green in there. Let's go ahead and start adding two other ingredients here. Okay I've got some Parmesan cheese that's shredded. I'm going to put a quarter cup in. Probably a little more. <laughs> you can never have enough cheese right? right. And then I've got some heavy whipping cream. I'm going to add half a cup. And about an eighth of a teaspoon of some black pepper. And then a little bit of salt. I need my towel here. I'm going to go ahead and stir this all together. Now I still have my burner on, on a simmer. I'm going to stir this all together. We're gonna simmer this until the pasta is finished cooking. The broccoli is as tender as you want it. Okay, there you go. Our one pot wonder. <laughs> it's a wonder, all right, right? All the many different variations you can do with this. What I'm gonna do is turn the burner off. I'm going to let this sit for a few minutes until it absorbs everything. 
Okay, this smells amazing. Look at that. All right, so if you need to thicken up your sauce a little bit, you can add some cornstarch, like a little bit of water, cornstarch, and then add that in here to kind of thicken up the sauce if you need to do that. All right, I'm gonna bowl this up and give it a try for you. Okay, here's my bowl. This looks amazing. Okay, I have a bite of everything. The sausage, the pasta, the broccoli, and that delicious sauce. Mmm. Mmm. Okay, that is very delicious. A full meal all in one pot. I think it was less than 30 minutes. And, yeah. Everything was cooked in one pot. All right, y'all. Give me a thumbs up on this one. What you think? Make sure you comment down below. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below with that bell notification. That way you'll always know when shows like this one here are posted. I will see you on my next episode.